Just Byron Miranda keeping an eye on this active storm right now. Byron. Yeah, you know, it's going to wind down, but we still got more snow to talk about. So this turned out to be a good snow, snow storm. This is the most snow we saw in a year in about four hours. We beat that last night. Last year we didn't get much and we beat it. So this is the last 24 hours. I'm showing you the beginning four or five o'clock. All of a sudden we started to see the bright whites that indicates heavy snow showers. We had that for about four hours and then we got a dry slot out of nowhere. And then it stopped it for a couple of hours. See, there was the dry slot. Had that dry slot uh, not been there, oh my, it would have been even worse. And it is a mess outside. Uh, Jennifer, that was a great live shot. She had a ruler, I think, right? So if everybody has a ruler, put it in the snow. You can do it with your own ruler because our snow totals are coming in, but they won't be in until probably 8, 9 a.m. So we'll have to hold on for that. Look at what's happening right now. When I walked in here at five, you know, this just popped up. So this is to the west of us. Now you got a dry slot over the city. Anthony uh, DiLorenzo was talking about the winds. I think he said uh, his cameraman's wind or the cameraman with the wind gusts almost took his camera down. And so we still have high winds and blowing snow, but we got a little break here at South Brooklyn over towards Glendale. It's a little dry slot, but you go a little further south and west and you can see what this is doing. What you have to do with this low is try to figure out where is it going? Is it going to bring it over us? And so we believe it will by 717. This is 620. So we still have more snow over South Brunswick into Edison and then Staten Island 830. And we could still see snow if this holds together and it probably will uh, through New York at night. So we may not be out of the snow totally for the boroughs in close up Jersey until maybe around 10. And this this kind of bears it out. It says at 1030 snow over the boroughs, snow north and west. So we're going to add to the preliminary numbers somewhere right now around five to eight inches. We're going to add to that over the next four or five hours. Polar plunge. This is the other reason Jennifer was saying stay home. Here's the other reason. Besides these roads being a mess, the current temperatures in the 20s below freezing, below freezing, right? In the 20s, you look at the winds out of the north. You get a wind chill of four degrees in Mount Vernon. Seven is what it feels like right now in Newark. Ten, Queensbridge, 12 in Harlem. This is the second reason to stay home today. It's brutally cold. It's dangerously cold with these wind chills. Winds out of the north. We're not warming up. Not at all today. We're going to be somewhere around 12 to 15 is what it's going to feel like all day from Tribeca, Sunnyside, Irvington, Scarsdale, Dix Hills. Uh, you've got to have the earmuffs, kids. Listen to your parents. If you're going outside, I know you want to play in it. That's cool, but layer up and use the earmuffs because you don't want to expose the skin today and really not tomorrow morning either. I can't get you a, a, a good forecast here temperature wise until Sunday. So keep in mind the next two mornings, brutally cold, dangerously cold, got to bundle up. You want to get in the snow, you want to do the snow angel. I got some video of that of, uh, from one of our viewers. I'll show that when I come back. It's fun, but bundle up 15 today, 17 tomorrow, snow probably over by 10 a.m. for most areas. And then we're just talking about a chill. But by Sunday, Marissa, we're going to warm up. I say warm up 40 degrees. That's going to feel pretty good after you feel like eight degrees.